outside ID. stewards. No, I had the idea already. And I was like, why are you stealing my idea? And he was like, what? And he's like running, running away from me. And I was like, get out of this town. Get off. Oh. And then, Bradley. No, but I, I digress. Um, so I'm there. And everyone else is wearing a dress. I'm not wearing a dress. So I was like, I feel really underdressed. And, <laughs> and I'm there for six hours. Just playing Frozen over and over again. Walking around the sea of, like, little kids with, like, sticky hands. Like, they grab me and then, like, I have to rip their hand off. And it's like, hands to yourself. And, like, I'm going around, like, singing half-heartedly to a, a, the music in a movie I've never seen before. And this helper's just like, you've never seen Frozen before? And I was like, no. She was like, how are you supposed to do this? And I was like, I don't know. Like, that... I don't know. And, you hired me. And so I'm just like... You didn't do a background check. I just like get into a kid's face and I'm like, Let it go! Let it go! Can't hold me back anymore! Like looking back at her? No, I'm looking back at the movie. Because oh. it had closed captionings. Um, <laughs> There was a deaf kid in the primary school. The closed captionings. It's a and, kid on the premises. Yeah. And, um... who? So I was there for six hours. That counted for six hours of community service. I currently have 15 hours of community service for the 10 hours required. I don't have to do anything ever again in life. Um, <laughs> and it was just frozen on the loop for six hours? It was like multiple viewing? Oh, yeah, no. Like, there were only two assemblies of 50 minutes where the kids would come in and watch. But we had to stay in there the whole time to make sure that it was still playing right. So, <laughs> the fu- And the worst part is, I never got to see the ending. Like, they always made me leave, not, like, on purpose, but, like, we always had to go do something 20 minutes before the end. So I've seen the first hour of the movie multiple times in one day, but I've never seen the ending of Frozen. I don't know if Hans is really a bad guy after all. Those mutton chops he probably is. Oh, no. What Bullshit. It, it's like, oh, it's, they're like, Hans, only a true love's kiss will unbreak my heart, because, like, her sister is an ice queen and shot her in the heart by accident. Wait, so, are you talking about Snow White? No. And so, the snow. heart is like it's turning into bullshit, ice. Yeah. So only a true love's we kiss right, no, will shatter up, the ice. Up, and so up, Hans is like about to kiss her. And he's like, oh, Anna, if only someone loved you. And then he goes off on this whole speech about how she's like desperate and should not have trusted him. But she did anyway. And so now she's going to die and he's going to watch. And then he's going to take the whole kingdom, kill her sister and bring Summer back. Yeah, and then Olaf the snowman comes in, lights a fire, and he's like, some people are worth melting for, because life's like a box of chocolates. That sounds like an awful movie. Sounds like hey, six it's a terrible suck. movie, but their voices are beautiful. Yeah, dude, I Snow feel White's so bad shit. for the actors. I'm never watching Snow White. It sounds White. like Fuck six this. different movies. She would not let anyone sing the songs there, and we had to speak yeah. at tempo through them. And it was it was bizarre. So like you have Lars sitting, you know, like on his throne. We we were all in thrones. Yeah. Um, he's just like, keep your big, bright, beautiful world. I'm happy where I am, all alone. <laughs> I've got all I need. So read the stinking sign. And it's like so slow. And like, uh, yeah. And then like, so everyone's fucking up. And then I'm supposed to enter as the donkey, and no one's been bringing it zest. So I'm just like, mm, gotta crack open this pepper. I had a pepperoni stick with me, no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> and so I just like, I'm not gonna yell because your parents are upstairs. But I was like, Miss ah! <laughs> Helper's like, someone's got the zest. And I was like. <laughs> Someone's I'm got the zesty, zesty guy. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm a pretty zesty, zesty guy. I got the pasta. And, and, uh, it, but yeah, no, we haven't done anything else okay. until January. I'm pretty pumped. Um, my, it kind of ties in, but it's also off topic. My new favorite activity is to just Snapchat people that only see me in school, but we never interact outside of school, yeah. and see how long it takes before they stop talking to me inside of school. <laughs> and,. <laughs> So, Margaret Richards has been my target lately. Right. <laughs> and she's the dragon for the play. So, you know, like, I'm the donkey, she's the dragon. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and, um, so Shrek 2 is on today, and as we all know, Dragon and the Donkey have babies at the end of Shrek 2. Yeah. Yeah, and so, right I, 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 I get, you, I get I a picture a of one of them, <laughs> I get a picture of one of the Dronkies, and I'm just like, wow, we should never have kids. <laughs> and I send it to her. She doesn't respond. I think I won this round. Because previously, I was just live ch- ch- chatting her um, when all hell was breaking loose at Barnwell and there were just four fires within an hour and a woman passed out. Like, I'm just taking Snapchats of the sirens going off and I'm just like, there, there's like a fire on floor four. This is like the second time it happened in the hour. Someone should should really do something about this. I'm just, like, eating pudding. And I only get one Snapchat back from her out of, like, the 20 I sent her. And it's just a picture of, like, her TV and, like, her legs. Like, she's, like, sitting on a chair or something with her feet out. And she just, like, takes a picture from there. And she's, like, not my problem. And <laughs> I'm just, like, it's not my problem either. I'm on break. And so I just take this as an invitation to Snapchat her 17 more times. <laughs> But she's still going strong. She's still talking to me in school. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? It's all up in the air. Um, oh. Upstairs, interrupt everyone all over again, get another cup of water, because I can't have my banana without some water. Mm. What if you run out of water, though, and you still have the second banana? Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> That was that was a solid like three minutes of dialogue you just did on that last one. Wow, <laughs> it, it's it's, it's been way. It, what were the like? How severe were the fires, and why were there so many? I don't. I I like to think. Oh, you that actually they, never found out. No, I never saw them. All I know is that the first time there was a fire, my boss Marlena. She was like, everyone just shut the doors! Get inside the kitchen! Like, everyone on floor one that wasn't in, like, the ward had to run into, like, the dining hall area. And, like, we all shut ourselves in. And I'm just, like, sitting there contemplating, eating my pudding. Like, they have, like, a lot of pudding. Yeah. And I'm, like, the only one that eats it. So it's, like, field day <laughs> for me. Um, I'm just, like, contemplating. We're in the basement of an establishment that is on fire like it's probably not a serious fire but if the building starts collapsing we are ground zero for what's going to fall well, on top of us be, you don't want to be in the top floor you don't want to be in the top floor but you don't want to be in the bottom floor you don't want you, you don't want to be, be in the building, building. yeah and yeah. D- instead of evacuating the building you, you just don't <laughs> You just I did die that. With it. I mean, that's um, pretty natural. That's a building dedicated to the function of like people it, you know, dying. Having in people it, die know? in it. It's <laughs> like okay, the captain goes down with the ship. The pat the, the, the patients go down with their establishment. But I'm I'm <laughs> par diem. I'm not getting health benefits from this. I don't have any dental. In the, great great uh, joke in Shrek the Third. Um, he goes in and <laughs> tries to intersect. Not intersect, interfere, interject, with intersperse, inter, no, Inter- um, interweave, interweave into the system <laughs> of the like uh, Camelot High School, and he's just like, oh, we're representatives of the fucking whatever he says, and he's like, do you feel oppressed? Do you enjoy your work environment? Do you feel you're not getting enough? Well, I, like that, well, you should for an employer or whatever. And the guy leans in, he's like, We don't even have dental. And then Shrek turns to Puss in Boots, and he's like, They don't even have dental. Great line! <laughs> that, that should have been my senior quote. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't get dental at Barnwell. I shouldn't have to die with everyone else in there. I'm the angel of death. I'm not the angel t- t- to die. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm death Judas. Is, death is the biggest uh, health benefit ever. If they yeah. could give you death, then... I'm not getting paid for it, though. I mean, I guess to a lesser extent, my family also doesn't get paid for it. But, like, I I spent $400 on a raincoat today. I'm $130 in debt. Like, what? I, Why'd oh, you do that? 
It, it's a nice coat. What if it rains? Darren, it's never gonna rain. Solid logic. Uh, yeah, the new year is never gonna rain again. Yeah, they just announced that. Terribly timed that. Poor purchase decision. Yeah. It. it it was dust, worth it. It's gonna be mostly dust in the future. <laughs> I mean, no, the, my yeah, bank covered me, but now I'm I'm in debt with yeah. them in back drafts. Um, back taxes. <laughs> I think it's not bad. called back drafts. It probably is. It's to drafty back. Start off on that. Really. I I straight up punched Kim Kramer the other day. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with her, but she's like very small and fragile. Um, <laughs> I didn't just like go up to her and deck her in the face. Um, <laughs> we were in the primary school, yeah, yesterday? Was it yesterday Friday? Holy shit, that happened to me, like, less than 24 hours ago. That's crazy. Um, so, we were there, and, you know, like, she's dressed as a princess, I'm not. <laughs> Pretty angry about it. Um, and she's like, oh, my back hurts, oh, shit, whatever, I have problems that you don't, uh. <laughs> people am I right um, <laughs> and so she's like Derek I need you to punch me in the back and I'm just like what is that like a euphemism and she's like no like in chorus when we do back rubs I need you to punch me in the back and I was like whatever so I'm like boo, 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 going Rocky Bobolba on her and I was like you know like if I really punched you I'd probably kill you and she was just like you feel free to actually punch me. I was like, I'm not gonna punch you. And she was like, No, no, it's fine. I, I, I could use a little dying right now. And I was like, Okay, I'm not gonna punch you because you know I'm gonna get in trouble for this. And you know, like I, I'm gonna kill you. And she was like, No, no, really, like feel free to try. And I'm like, I'm not gonna punch. Like, I only used like half an effort. Like I'm, I wasn't even like focused. I was like, Oh, she falls on the floor. Like start gasping there's like this huge red spot on her back like in the shape of my knuckles and i'm just like are you okay and she's like oh <laughs> what the hell daddy and i was like you said feel free to punch you i i didn't even try you know like you should be thanking me and she was like no it's okay yeah, what about what about your Tinder date? My Tinder date? Dog, yeah. Did did we not document that already? No. I never heard about it at all. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, I got a story to tell you. This was uh, back in yeah. October too. Um, it was a rainy day. Could have used a raincoat. Really? Um <laughs> What ha hang on, I gotta I gotta text you. Derek, I don't have time for this bullshit. <laughs> um What are you doing? I got a text message. Okay. Um but so, uh, <laughs> wait a <it's> lot. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> all right. So, I go, I get outside of school, and like I've been chatting up this Tinder girl for for like a little bit, and That's sweet. oh yeah, I want it on the record. I totally got catfished. She does not <laughs> like anything <laughs> like her pictures. I saw pictures of like 17, 18 year old girl. I got like 23 year old soccer mom. Like somehow managed to advance herself to the status of like a 40 year old soccer mom within like a tiny window of time. And so the car pulls up. It's like the shitty like putt putt putting car. Like it looks like Herbie fully loaded. Um, and this, like, woman, like, she, she's on the larger side, that was the least of my problems, though, little did I know, um, she's wearing checkerboard pajama pants that my mom also owns, so I got the indication, like, okay, are you picking me up for your daughter, or is this it? And I was scared. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, she pulls up and I'm just like, what, what, what's going on? You're picking me up for your daughter or is this it? Like, what, what am I working with? And then she's like looking at me. I'm trying to convey the face, like in my mind. She's like, <laughs> like her front teeth are kind of exposed, but she doesn't have buck teeth. Like, I think her bottom lip just kind of got stuck underneath. 
And so I'm just like, and she like waves and like points at the passenger seat. I'm just like, okay. I get in the car, like against my better judgment. I could have just bolted. Um, but no, like she could probably see me leaving. Um, so I get in the car. I didn't want to be rude. (laughs) And like her car is like littered with trash. Um, I get in, she just speeds away. She goes, like, 70 miles an hour. Like, we did the circle at 70 miles an hour. It was terrifying. I'm just, like, holding on to my seat. And, like, she doesn't talk for 10 minutes. And, like, within that 10 minutes, we somehow already ended up in, um... Where is that? East Skodak? Like, she (laughs) travels very fast. Um, and the first thing she says is... So... So, like... uh, what did she say? It's not... <laughs> it's not what it looks like. No, she was like, it's a good thing neither of us are serial killers. And I was like, yeah. She was like, wouldn't it be awkward if we were both serial killers? And I was like, that statement implies one of us is. I'm not. And <laughs> she was like, oh no, actually it'd be really cool if we were both serial killers. Like, we could totally team up. No one would catch on be like Dexter. And I was like, I'm not familiar with Dexter. And she's like, but, but yeah, no, it's too bad. I'm not a serial killer. And I was like, right, the nine is young. Um, <laughs> and so she's like, oh, are you going to the concert in like New York City? And I was like, no, no one n- notified me of that. She's like, yeah, me neither. I had to find out about it on my own. Fucking dicks. And I was like, <laughs> so are you not going? Why, why did you ask me then? And she's like, I don't know. I was like, oh. <laughs> so she brings me to a parking lot. She's like, okay, wait here. And I was like, uh, okay. Because I'm not familiar with the area. I'm not going to run. Um, and, and then I just hear her screaming. I can't really make out. What it's, oh, yeah, she brought out a sandwich bag full of pot, too. Um, it was a drug deal. Um, and so they're both screaming at each other. And then she throws herself in the car. Oh, my ear hurt just then. Um, she threw herself in the car, and she was like, fucking asshole! And I was like, what? And she was like, fucking dick bag tried to rip me off $15! You don't fucking tell me it's okay! And then try to t- t- pull that dick move on me just because I rear-ended your car the other day! And I was like, I don't know what's, like, worse the fact that she's getting worked up over $15, the fact that she rear-ended someone's car, they said it was okay and she believed them, or that the person thought $15 would be, like, a good, like, way to make up for that. Um, yeah, there's a lot there. Yeah, there's and so she she stuffs the watch. She, she got all her money. She puts it in the glove box, and then we drive off, and then she brings me down this road 90 <laughs> miles an hour. No, 65 miles an hour in a school zone <laughs> with the speed limit being 20. And she was like, you know, I usually do like 90 down this road, but I don't want to freak you out. And I was like, thanks. How considerate. And she's like, yeah, I could, this sounds really cliche, but I could be a really good driver if I want to be. And I was like, do, do you want to be like now? Like, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> and so... My right side of the face is slowly getting more and more numb. Um, so this might be the last story. Uh, and, and so she brings me to this um, parking lot in front of a lake. And it's pouring rain at this point. And I'm just like, there's no way out of this. And so she's telling me the story. That I was just like, man, I really hate that people can't drive in the rain, something like there are people that have to walk in this rain. I wish I could just all give him all a ride. And then my mom fucking cut. She's always just like, "Don't pick up strangers on the road." And I was like, "I want you, fucking asshole, fucking bitch." And I was like, "Yeah." And she tells me the story about how one time her mom tells her to go pick up this neighborhood kid who was caught in the rain walking on the side of the road. So she does, and then she pulls up. Like, next to him, and she's like, get in the car! And, like, the person, like, looks at her, and she's like, are you fucking deaf? Get in the car! And so, like, the kid gets into the car, and then she drives off, and then she's like, you're not my fucking neighbor! And he's like, no! And so she's like, where do you live? And so, like, this 
poor child, like, tells the strange woman where he lives, and then she drops him off at his house, and then drives home. She doesn't pick up the initial kid <laughs> she was supposed to. She just kidnapped someone. And I was like, oh, okay. And so, like, at the meantime, I'm, like, texting someone, like, to call me. And then my phone starts ringing. I'm just like, it's my mom. <laughs> Got to take this. And then I go out in the rain. I cry a little. Uh, the, the rain concealed that. I was like, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, okay, just tell them that I grounded you for something. And I was like, okay. And then I get back in the car. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm grounded because I need to go watch the dog. And she's like, oh, my God, you have a dog? Can I come meet it? And I was like. No, it's it's very vicious. You'll you'll die if it sees you and you're not part of the family. It's it's terrible. I don't even know why we have it. She's like, oh man, maybe another time. Maybe you'll get used to me. And I was like, bring me home. <laughs> <laughs> and so she pulls out this huge fucking split. It's like this big, and she just starts smoking it. And she she drives stick shift. Which is what made, like, the 60 miles an hour in a school zone scarier. Because she had to, like, change gears and, like, we would jerk back and forth. I feel I felt like I almost broke my neck. And so, we're on a highway. We're on I-90 doing, like, 75, 80. And she's using both her hands to light this up. <laughs> Not one hand is on any part of the car. <laughs> So, she loses her lighter. She's like, oh, fuck, I lost my lighter. How am I supposed to smoke this now? And I have, like, two lighters on me. And I'm just like, that's too bad. <laughs> and so she puts it in her glove compartment. And then right after she does, a police car drives by us. She's like, wow, crazy luck, right? She just, like, smacks me on the shoulder. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> and then I'm just like, you know, as, as much as... I'm scared, like, I'm glad we didn't get pulled over, because that's the last thing I need, like, get stuck in jail with a Tinder date, and, oh, what would my mom think of me, and so, she's like, where do you live, and I was like, you dropped me off at the school again, she's like, I thought you had to go home, because you grounded, and I was like, I lied a little bit, I have to stay after for a club, and then I'm grounded, and she was like, oh, okay, and I was like, yeah, and she's like, so what kind of music do you listen to? And I'm, I'm like, panicking. I'm on the, first of all, I'm on the spot. Second of all, I'm scared for my life. And I'm just like, I don't really listen to music. I, I've got a job. I'm really busy. And she's like, oh, man. Well, next time we hang out, bring your laptop. And then I'll burn some six jams onto your computer. And then we can jam. And I, I'm, like, thinking in my head, like, if we're going to hang out again. Like, first of all, it's not going to happen. Second of all, you're implying that, like, you're going to come get me again if we ever hang out. So, like, you're going to bring your music to put on my laptop so we can listen to my laptop in your car. When we can just listen to the music in your car. Cut cut my laptop out of the equation. It's a nice laptop. I'm not letting you touch it. Oh. And so I'm just like, yeah, I'm probably never going to be able to hang out with you again. Like, pretty much today was my first day off in years. Like, I, I'm pretty deeply intertwined in the nursing home I work at. They really don't function without me there. But I got, like, one free day today. But, like, as soon as I get out of school, I go straight to work, and then I don't get out of work until, like, 8.30. And she was like, oh, I could just come pick you up at 8.30. And I was like, and then after that, I have to stay after and do mandatory checks. That takes me until, like, 11. <laughs> so I am in that building for a long time. I don't have time for music. I don't have time for Gallivant. <laughs> and she's like, wow, you must rake it in. And I was like, I make $5 an hour. <laughs> and she was like, that's awful. I would go in there. And she's like doing this while driving, so she's, like, swerving, and I'm like, oh, no, and she was like, I would go in there, and I would start screaming at them, you fucking raise my wage, you fucking bastards, or I'm gonna walk out here, you goddamn faggots, oh, here's your school, 
And I was like, oh, perfect. And then I got out of the car and she like leans in and she's like, so until next time. I'm just like, oh, okay. And then I like sprint back into school. And then like as soon as I round the corner, I just fall on the ground in the rain. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> and uh, so we were originally supposed to hang out for like six hours. Um, because, you know, I thought it was, like, <laughs> not <laughs> anything <laughs> like this person that I met up with. I got out of school at 2.30. She dropped me off at 3.15. <laughs> Literally, it took less than an hour <laughs> for all of that to go down. We made it into and back out of East Skodak. And, like, what, we were not moving for a lot of that time in 45 minutes and so like I'm my heart's like beating really and then I call my mom who's still in work because she gets out of work at 3 30 and I was like yeah hey, you want to come pick me up and she's like yeah and and then I got some kettle chips um and sour gummy worms at Cumberland Farms and I ate them Went home, usual business from there. I masturbated, I showered, I masturbated again. Um, ate some dinner, watched Two and a Half... No, not Two and a Half Men, that was last year. Watched some Everybody Loves Raymond, I was out like a light. Oh, no, I... I was just supporting you, I'm... I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Not, just... not a homo. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you fucking, you got me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I, do, I actually don't know where that came from, so that's, that's a full possibility. What's a full possibility? That Derek's the thumb cutter, and he cut my thumb, and he just goes around, like, cutting people's thumbs. Not off, but just, like, a little bit. Damn. Have I told you any of my Bruce material? Your what? My Bruce material. The, in the car, I think. No, like, the other Bruce. <laughs> no, um, not other Bruce. Like, Bruce, Bruce. Um... <laughs> So oh, Bruce Decker. Yeah. Yeah. So on the marching band bus, oh boy. Um, <laughs> me and Max Rex house, like, this really isn't, like, a story story, but it's, like, pretty good. Tiny part. Um, uh, basically, he's telling me the story about how he's eating a sub in the middle of lunch, and then Bruce comes up to him, and he's like, hey, Bruce, you want the rest of the sandwich? And he's like, mm, what's on it? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, some meatballs and sauce and bread. And then Bruce just like ha sticks his hand out like that. And he's like, mm. <laughs> he gives him the sub. <laughs> and Bruce is eating. He's like, bring us some boy. <laughs> and then, like, presumably scooters away with no hands. <laughs> And so, um, <laughs> I was like, oh, what? And so now, every time, like, anything happens, we're just like, mm, what's down? And they're like, mm, what's down? What's up? <laughs> I was playing blackjack with Abby and Ryan the other night. I also won $22 in change out of that game. Ryan was pissed. Because he thought it was, like, pocket change, but it was, like, pounds. Um, and every time I got a hand... I would cycle through the same four noises. I go like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and then like show my hand and be like, mm, mm. <laughs> and then another time I I bore witness to this. Bruce had a toy parrot on like a little stand, and he carried it around in school. And he was like, I got a parrot, and then like repeat everything he said. And he was like, it repeats everything I say. And I was like, it repeats everything I say. He was like, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. And then he just leaves. Like, he, he counts to eight, makes the parrot also count to eight, and then just makes his way down the hallway. And then, like, I hear, or turning the corner, like, I'm, I was in the bathroom, like, I hear down the other hallway, squawk, squawk. <laughs> I heard him in the woodshop room. And like he had an egg roll, and he's like, my egg roll! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't eat during this. Wait, 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 w
He is like standing in the doorway holding an egg roll like as if he was stroking it. Like I think he was probably stroking it before I got there. And I'm walking by and he's like holding it in his hand. He's like, my egg roll. And er I kid you not, everyone else in that room is on the opposite side of the room all huddled in a group. <laughs> Just like looking at him and making small talk amongst themselves. <laughs> He's not looking at any. He's looking in a completely different third area where neither him nor anyone else is. Or the egg roll for that matter. And he's just like, my egg roll! And they're all just like, what is he looking at? Like, who is he telling that to? And then he leaves. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I told you about this, but all right, yeah, I'll make a story out of it. <laughs> Feel no pressure. No, so we were in Wappinger Falls for Area Allstate, and oh, I was fucking pissed because the girls, they got into a different choir than me, but we all applied to be in the same choir, but they all got put into a women's choir, so I was all on my own in like the uh, mixed choir. <laughs> but I got over it. <laughs> you alone um, are mixed. What? What? I, I was like the, the only one, one from my school in that choir, and then they were oh, all put together like, in a different one. I thought you were like a one man choir. Oh, yeah, no, that would have been cool. <laughs> Here's the mixed um, choir. It's Derek. Derek. <laughs> and so, we're in the hotel. It turned like, Absorbed. wild coincidence, <laughs> we're all in the same hotel. And like, we didn't plan for this, it was fate. And so, I'm <laughs> eating dinner with Lars and his parents, you know, nice little double date, me and his dad, him and his mom. Um, <laughs> that, that wasn't a dig at Lars. I just, I just wanted to set it up so I would be with his dad. <laughs> and so, after I try to pay for my food and he shoves my money to the ground, um, I'm like looking down, I'm really invested in this hamburger I got. And then I look up. The girls are like, all oh, right there. And I'm just like, holy shit. And I'm just like, fucking Christ, like, don't sneak up on me like that. I don't want to be vegetarian. Like, I mean, me. Like, I gotta cleanse myself. And so they're just like, so, how tell you, Stan? They don't talk like that. And then they're like, so, how tell you, Stan? And I was just like, over there. And they're just like, oh my god, us too. And I was like, whoa, I don't care. <laughs> I cared a lot. Like, I, I need to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm trying to play it cool. I like put my phone on the table. It's like, ah, nice. <laughs> and so they're just like, yeah, we'll be on the second floor if you need us. And I was like, cool, cool, we'll be on the third floor. Ooh, if you need us. But you won't. And, and so I guess they brought like six do? bags of popcorn and like a lot of M&Ms. One of them, I know one of them had hairspray. And I really needed hairspray because my hair came down after I showered, like, so it was wet and all, like, on my face. And I was like, Laura, send a distress signal out because none of them will socialize me outside of school. I need you to tell them that I need hairspray. <laughs> so he was like, T like, Margaret and Marissa are asleep and Sam doesn't want to. And I was like, okay. And so it worked. It was fine. Um, <laughs> Never my, got no, my hair just got off during the night. Um, and so, um, me and Lars go down to the pool. I'm wearing Lars's pajama pants as a bathing suit, and Lars is wearing his track shorts as a bathing suit. Neither one of us thought, like, hey, hotel with a pool in it, maybe we should bring a bathing suit. And so, I get into the hot tub, and from the mist, I see, like, these blurs of color... And I'm, like, terrified. I cover my nipples. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> What's going on? And then Lars is like, oh, hey, guys. And they're just like, and I hear Marissa's voice. And she's just like, hey. And I'm just like, hey. Is it you? I put my glasses on. They're foggy. I'm just like, that did nothing. And I'm just like, is it you? And I, like, hold my hand out. And one of them, like, spots it away. And he's like, yeah, of course it is. Who else is it going to be? And I was like, I don't know. I thought I was dying. I can't see. And so... <laughs> We're all sitting in the hot tub. I don't know about them, but it was really awkward for me. Like, I don't know. It was just weird because I, other than Lars, I've never hung out with any of them outside of school before in my life. And it was like three of them just there. And like, I don't know. So I'm like covering my nipples. Margaret's covering her nipples. She's wearing a bathing suit, but like she's Mormon. So she's not supposed to like 
expose herself with like a bathing suit like that in public or whatever. I, like I think that's a thing with their religion. It seems like it's a thing. Or yeah, or or if not, she was just uncomfortable. I don't know. Like I was pretty uncomfortable Good too. <laughs> and so like two of us are sitting there just like with our hands crossing our nipples. And then Lars is like wildly talking about his medical conditions. <laughs> and Marissa and Sam are, you know, like doing their own thing. And then they get out and leave. And then Lars is like, I get the feeling Margaret really hates one of us. And I was like, which one do you think it is? And then like, I didn't want to like tell him, but like I have it on record that she hates Lars <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> And so he's like, no, no, it's probably me because I'm fat and ugly. And I was like, whoa, maybe it's me because I'm really hairy and offensive. <laughs> Offensively hairy. And, <laughs> and then he was like, but don't you guys like talk about war and stuff? And I was like, it's probably you then, yeah. Like we we have some pretty <laughs> we have some pretty good guys. and like you know I'm just fucking with him at this point. I was like, yeah, no, it's totally you because we talk about war, and, <laughs> and so then he starts talking to me about war, and I was like, this, I mean, like I appreciate the effort, but this isn't gonna like make up for for her like lack of interest in you. Like I'm not going to fulfill your m- needs in like Mormons. And so, like, we we got that issue dealt with. Um, she still wouldn't lend me some hairspray, though, so really, what does it matter? Um, and then the next day, I was forced in a room with 60 other kids that all smelled terrible. We sang a lot of music with a very attractive Canadian woman. Um, she high-fived me. I was like... Here's my number. <laughs> On the head. I I didn't actually do that. Right is reversed. Um. And then that was it. That's you, Derek. Like cool memes you don't want your mom to find. <laughs> what about like Christian memes? Christian yeah, mingle. No, the the um Christian farmer mingle. memes. Yeah, were the farmer, greatest ones ever. Farmer seen. mingle also. No far big. no farm memes. Um, the, one of one of the best ones is like, um, the the kid in like the meme form, like the drawing style of the memes, like with the uh, why you know and all that, like all that yeah. bullshit. Right, um, idiot, Derek. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't talk down to me about memes. <laughs> yeah. Um, he goes up to his mom and he's like, "Mom, can I have some money?" And she's like, "Oh, for ice cream." And then like. That's that one where he's like, or whatever, like looking off in the distance. He's like, yes, ice cream. And then there's like a thought bubble and there's just bales of hay. (laughs) And and it's funny for farmers because they lie to their parents about buying ice cream. So they can buy bales of hay behind their bags. Because there's a hay bale limit in this house. Jeremy, finish your Gatorade. We do not waste food in this house. So now I have to eat my chocolate ice cream dessert, mixing with the tangy fruitiness of the Gatorade, and I hate my life. What? Oh, yeah, it was a text post. It was, um, straight boy problems number 221. And it was like, I get home from a long lacrosse practice, and I, uh, come home to my favorite dinner on the table, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green peas, and my big bottle of, uh, like, strawberry kiwi Gatorade from practice. They don't even make that. I, no, I know. And, <laughs> and as, I'm, strawberry kiwi as I'm starting to eat my chocolate mousse dessert, my mother comes in the room and goes, Jeremy, you finish your Gatorade. We do not waste food in this household. So now I'm forced to drink the fruity tanginess of the Gatorade as it mingles in my mouth. With the chocolate mousse, and I hate my life. <laughs> so glad we didn't have a lacrosse team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would have just been, would have been crossing a boundary. The soccer team was pretty much the lacrosse team, though, you know? Yeah, they were definitely like our lacrosse team, but they weren't like a lacrosse team. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I have my phone. Huh? Do you not have my phone? 
No. Do you not have your phone? I have. Logically, you would be the only one who would have it. Your phone. Your phone. Okay, give me my phone. <laughs> all, I got is, all I got is mine. I, I have some Chupacabra brand matches. I have to close a sale. Churascaria. Do you like? You have to close a sale. Is that yeah. what you said? Is that my phone? What the fuck? You asshole! You gotta catch it, Why Derek. Would you do that? <laughs> Why would you not tell have, me? Have you ever seen? An, you like, made eye contact with me. Have you ever tried to throw something to Derek cold? before? No, I haven't. You don't. Does he not catch him like you most don't. of the time? No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Derek, is your phone injured? No. Your phone's good. No. It's not good either. 